The men's and women's basketball teams came home and put on quite a show. The women's swim team left the competition in their wake, and 10 personal records were set by the track team in their first indoor meet of the season. Check all that out and more in this week's episode of Mick on the Mic. The Red Hawks men's and women's track and field teams brought the full crew to compete at the Spire Midwest Open on January 26 at the Spire Institute in Ohio for their first race of the indoor season. Ten personal records were set by the team, with many of the returners putting up top times in their first races of the indoor season. Brianna Randolph placed ninth in the 200-meter dash with a time of 26.20. Her time was the third best time in the East Coast Conference for this season. In the distance races, twins Abigail and Bailey Gustamsi were the standouts. Ashley Watson and Brittany Shumway placed 7th and 8th in the 3,000 meter race with times that are now the two best in the ECC. And Amanda Greenwood cleared 1.58 meters in the high jump, which now is the best time in the ECC. Christopher Sims was the standout on the men's side with a time in the 3,000 meter race of 844.91 that gave him the best time in the conference. The Red Hawks swim teams hosted MCC on January 23rd. The women's team came out on top 163.5 to 68.5 while the men fell to MCC 175 to 30. Along with the win, the women's team set seven new records during the meet. Sophomore Sarah Gendrew led the Red Hawks, winning four total races. The Barker New York native won the 400-yard medley alongside Paige Siebold, Julia Barnwell, and Abigail Bailey. She also set new records in the 200-yard freestyle, 200-yard breaststroke, and the 400-yard individual medley. Barnwell had an impressive night with three first-place finishes while also setting a new pool record. Along with her win in the 400-yard medley, the sophomore won the 100-yard breaststroke and the 100-yard butterfly. Paige Siebold also won three races, including the 400-yard medley, 200-yard backstroke, which was a new school record and pool record, and the 500-yard freestyle. Both Red Hawks basketball teams made it back to the Valor Athletic Center for their weekend of play starting Friday, January 25th. Both teams had their first matchup versus the UDC Firebirds. The women were led by junior Emily Miller's 24-point, 8-rebound performance. Some other notable performances from Friday night's matchup included 13 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists, and 3 steals from junior guard Seiso Nady. Also, freshman Demetria Ghazani scored 13 points and recorded a respectable 7 rebounds. The largest lead for the Red Hawks came in the second quarter as they were ahead by an impressive 24 points with 3.06 left in the half. The Firebirds would try to match Robert's first half performance but would come up short in the last two quarters. Sunday afternoon, they moved on to what would be one of their most challenging matchups of the season against the top team in the ECC, the St. Thomas Aquinas Spartans. They were ahead at the half but in the third and fourth quarters, they were not able to hold their lead. The Spartans would come back and take the lead from the Red Hawks in the third quarter with 5.18 left after a layup in the paint from stack guard Julia Winnick. Roberts would try to fight back as they were down by eight with two minutes left to play. However, the Spartans would capitalize on drawn fouls and end the game on free throws. In the men's UDC game on Friday night, the Red Hawks were looking very comfortable, going 33 of 70, which even out to be 47.1% from the field. UDC shot just 28%, which they went 18 of 64 for shooting. Roberts was able to get the ball inside for the majority of the game and dominated the paint. The Red Hawks outscored the Fireboards 42-24 in the paint. Going into halftime, they held a comfortable 18-point lead. In the second half, the Red Hawks were able to fend off any UDC comeback attempt and put the game out of reach. Red Hawks finished on top, 87 to 59. Then on Sunday afternoon, just as the women did, the men prepared for what would be one of the most challenging matchups of the season. 
Coming into the game, the Spartans were heavily favored as the number 12 team in the nation, according to NABC Coaches Poll and number 11 in the National D2 CETA Poll. And with the Spartans coming off its first ECC loss to Damon on the previous Friday night, or on Friday night in overtime, the team was primed for a big game in Rochester to avoid losing two straight. Helping lead the charge for Roberts was Peyton McLaurin, who had one of the best months of basketball in his collegiate career, averaging nearly 17 points a game this month, including games of 29 and 26 points earlier in January. The senior guard forward finished with 27 points and 11 rebounds on Sunday against Stack for his third double-double this season. McLaurin was 10 for 19 from the field and 5 of 9 from three-point range. A 9-0 run midway through the first half helped the Red Hawks build a double-digit lead. Stack was able to cut the lead to 9 points before halftime, but at the break, Roberts held a 36-27 lead. The Red Hawks came out firing in the second half and pushed the lead to 15 points with 14-41 remaining in the game. But the Spartans wouldn't allow Roberts to run away with the game, cutting their deficit to 6 points with 4.26 left in the half. Stack made it to a one-possession game with 1.15 remaining when Osbel Caraballo hit a layup to bring the score to 66-63. Following the made basket, Lewis Griffith came away with a steal and a breakaway layup to draw the Spartans within one point. Down the stretch, the Red Hawks went 5-6 of six from the free throw line and were able to keep the Spartans from scoring another basket to seal the deal. Congratulations to the teams and the athletes featured in this episode for their athletic accomplishments. Make sure to follow Mick on the Mic on Twitter and Facebook and subscribe to us on YouTube. Make sure you also join me on the live broadcast for the Roberts Men and Women's Basketball Home Games as I do the commentating. You can do that at robertsredhawks.com. And make sure to be on the lookout for the weekly recaps posted every Wednesday and other promotional videos for Red Hawk Sports. Until next time, this has been one more episode of Nick on the Mic.